By 1967, Israel was a far stronger military machine, with monstrous American forces standing behind it. But even Israel's main ally was not safe from its brutal belligerence. That year, unmarked Israeli warplanes and torpedo boats aggressively attacked a U.S. Navy ship in international waters off the coast of Egypt. The relentless barrage on the USS Liberty, which had an American flag raised high, lasted for an entire two hours. 34 people were killed and 174 wounded. According to an NSA report, U.S. officials believed it was impossible for this to be a mistake and that Israel intended to sink their ship and blame it on Egypt to goad the U.S. into invading. The attack was part of another ambitious land grab by Israel in what became known as the Six Day War, the next chapter of Zionist expansion. Israel launched surprise attacks on Egypt, Syria, and Jordan. It invaded all of Palestine's remaining 22% of land. The official rationale for this major act of aggression was one of preemption, that the Jewish population in Israel was on the verge of being killed in mass by the Arab countries surrounding them. Many Israeli officials acknowledged that it was just propaganda, including top military commander during the war, General Matiyahu Peled, who was quoted in Haaretz admitting, the thesis that the danger of genocide was hanging over us in June 1967 and that Israel was fighting for its physical existence is only a bluff. 